Hi, says I'm live. I see Renee. Hi, Renee. Renee, Renee, Renee. You are the first one. You are here before me. You are one fast lady. Yeah, one fast lady. So I'm a little bit early, but I wanted to make sure that. Oh, there. Stream. Oh, I think I did it. Oh. Hello. Hi. 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 I'm hearing my echo. Why am I hearing my echo? You might have heard my, my, uh, do you hear it now? Because I turned off the sound on my computer. Okay. No, I'm Is hearing, I'm hearing, I'm hearing my, I'm hearing my echo. Oh, I don't know though. I don't hear your echo. No, no, not me. I mean, I still had my sound on and you were on there. I thought maybe that's what you heard was okay. yourself talking over my computer. Okay. No, Is it gone? When I, when I said okay, then I heard okay again. Oh, well, then something's on oh. your end. Jennifer says, I hear your echo. Huh, I wonder why that is. I wonder, wonder, wonder. Okay, let me make sure. Let me make sure. I want to turn YouTube completely off. The sound, you mean? I just turned YouTube completely off. I don't have oh. YouTube. I've only got StreamYard on. Oh, okay. Well, then they shouldn't be able to hear it. Okay. Jennifer, do you hear my echo now? Still happening. And you don't you don't hear it at all, Gail? I'm I'm just listening to you through StreamYard. Okay. And I don't hear it. It's not on StreamYard. Hmm. Where in the world? Let me see. Let me close everything down but StreamYard. Close down Facebook. Close down that. Okay, the only thing I have open, the only tab is StreamYard. Hmm. You don't have two uh, StreamYard things open, do you? No. Well, okay. Let me check down here. Oh, I hear my son just come in. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I wonder why that is. I wonder if I should close it and come back in. Okay, that's what I have to. to. You might have to, but are you sure you don't have YouTube open on a device somewhere? Because to me, that's what you're going to, that's what you would hear. No, I have nothing. Nothing okay. else open. Okay. Okay. I'm going to re. I'm going to reload this page and see what happens. Okay. Good luck. Hey, everybody. Happy Monday. Hope you had a great weekend. Can you guys still hear me? I'm still in StreamYard. Yeah, I had a good day yesterday. Um, got to see my grandchildren. They came over and were here most of the afternoon with their parents, of course. Oh, good, you can hear me. Um. They got bikes for Christmas, but then they weren't able to do anything with them because the weather was so lousy. And so, oh, they're busy. Can you hear me now? Oh, my I can God. Hear I am still echoing. That is so strange. It is. I, oh, that is gonna, that is going to be nerve wracking. Um, I would, hmm. I just don't understand because I don't hear an echo over uh, StreamYard. 
Yeah. yeah. And that's yeah. all I have open is StreamYard. Oh, goodness. You know what? I I won't be able to do this like this. I just won't be able to do this like this. Alien. Sandra Louise says it's aliens. Aliens or gremlins. Um, I, I just don't even have a clue. I've got, I got one other suggestion. What's that? Uh, well, are you, what are you StreamYard? What do you have? What are you uh, using to have StreamYard? My um, laptop computer. All right. Before we give up on this, why don't you try, or maybe you already did this, but I'm going to say not just log off, but restart your computer. You know what I mean? Uh-oh. She froze up. Lizzie? Hello. Well, now Lizzie froze up, so I don't know what's happening. I was going to tell her to restart her laptop. That is the strangest thing. Can you guys still hear me? I don't know, Roy, where she went, but um, hopefully we can. Okay, good. You can hear me. Um, I'm hoping she got what I said about, uh, you know, when everything else fails, shut it off and then restart it. So that's the only thing I can think for her to do is to restart her laptop and then see what <laughs> happens. Did you read? Did you hear what I said, Lizzie, about restarting your laptop? Um. No. Oh, no, I just. Did it work? Oh, no, it's still echo. All right, well, then why don't you try turning it off, you know, shutting it down and restarting it and see if that works. Uh, I can't think well, of anything else to help you. If you don't have any, you don't have your phone there with anything on it. No, my phone's in the other room. Nothing is in here. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna, I, I, I won't be able to do this. I, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, I'm allowed for one four-letter word. Ruby said I'm allowed one four-letter word. <laughs> oh, darn, this is depressing. I had something so much fun. Okay, I'm going to just have to not do this because I can't do this with hearing my echo. So. No. This is what I just don't I'm understand. Lizzie, what? Lizzie, I wish you'd try what I said to shut your laptop off and then restart it. Okay, let me try that. When all else fails, that's what's the thing to do. Okay, I'm going to do that right now. All right, stand by, everybody. everybody. Just hang on. Okay, everyone. I know there's a delay before you're going to hear me. Oh, yeah, she froze again. I'm assuming she uh, shut off and got out of there. But um, I've been crocheting. That's all I've been doing the last week or two. I'm making a, a poncho for myself. I'm trying to use up... Um, all this yarn I've got, I've got way more yarn than I could ever do anything with. And so I'm going through and see what I can use it for. So <sighs> that's what I've been doing. I've been crocheting. First I was knitting. And then I uh, got tired of that. So I'm back to crocheting. Hi, everybody coming in. I hope you can still hear me. Lizzie had to restart her computer. We're having some technical difficulties. Uh, so I don't know what to talk about. Like I said, I was starting to tell you, I, my grandsons were over yesterday. One's nine and the other one just turned five. And neither one of them really knows how to ride a two-wheeler bike. So their parents got them new bikes with training wheels and uh they um 
were out at our house because they really don't have a place to ride to well by where they live. So, and it was beautiful yesterday. We had um, a nice time sitting outside watching the kids. And after the everybody was putting the bikes together, I was supervising and reading <laughs> reading the instructions while my daughter-in-law put one together and my husband was helping my son put the other one together. So anyway. Is that what you're doing, Yolanda? You're making baby blankets for Lizzie's? I hope it's not plural. You said Lizzie's babies. I think she's just having one grandchild coming, right? Hi, if anybody just arrived, uh, Lizzie's having to restart her uh, computer, and hopefully it'll work this time. Roy, I was helping my daughter-in-law put the other one together, but I was reading the instructions. And yeah, well, you'd have to know my husband and my son to understand why it took both of them. Are you back? Is it working? Okay, let's see if it's working. No, it is no. still echoing. Well, how straight? Um, hmm. And you have to have the volume up on your laptop so you can hear me. Is that correct? Yes. yes. Oh, wait a minute. Let me see. Now, I got a volume control on the laptop. And also, let me turn this... Can you hear me now? I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay. I have, okay, I have to have that up. Now, do I have a volume control just on? Hmm. Uh, Aaron was suggesting I close out and you send me a new, or I don't know if I'd have to get a new thing from you, but maybe it's between you and me. Um, Just a minute. Let me... Do you hear my All echo? right, you, you finish that. Yeah. Why am I getting that echo? I done restarted the computer and All right. I don't have any other tabs open. Well, it could be me on StreamYard. It, so I don't know. Well, let me get out of StreamYard and come back in and see what happens. Okay, go ahead and try that. And if that okay. doesn't happen, then I'm going to have to just bail. All right, we'll see. Okay. Okay, you guys. Now, we'll let her do that again. And um, did you see, Jennifer, Billy, what Jennifer just... Wait a minute. Did, did you see right here what Jennifer just posted? What? Right here. I'm going to have a great grandchild three months after you have my great, my grandchild. I'm going to have a great grandchild. Mm. Did you not hear that yet? Nope. Well, you just heard it along with the rest of the world. Can you guys hear me? Um, okay. Yeah, they can hear me right now. Hi, Larry. And hi, Sharon. And hi, Jennifer. And hi, Yolanda. And hi, um, Little Red Wagon and Bootsy and and Dana Ezo and Debbie Nowaki and Teresa C Little Sister Spitfire and Lori Parensky and Valerie Messman and Janice Glines and Janet Burgess and Look at all the oh Sandra Lisa Louise at Mama Two's place. You all are and Kathy Lake. Everybody's looking beautiful today. And okay, there she comes back. Let's check and see. Add to stream. Okay, now hello. let's hello. 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 How's it Does it work? I'm not getting an echo. Are you all? Oh, hallelujah. No echo. Good. 
good. And there's Aaron, Angela Snyder. Oh, it is good. And Tracy Turner. Oh my gosh, it is good to see all of you. And hopefully, okay, I'll, now that we've used up eight of my minutes, um, I, sorry I, about I, that, I everybody. That's okay. We got it now. I swear it's, it's a group effort. You know, it takes a bit. <laughs> Thank you, Aaron. <laughs> I don't know anything about StreamYard. Okay. I want to show you what I, I did this this morning. This here I did um, with my little frog. Some of you might have seen the, uh, the video okay. where I, have, I pieced him all together and then covered him with tool. And then I slow stitched the whole thing, gave him a little moon. Mm. Then I couched around and um, I couched this little frame around with some, some, um, yeah, this kind of rope stuff. And wait, who's that? Okay, Sharon says, just added my first page to my slow stitching book, pictures to follow. Oh, that is great, Sharon. Okay, so then this morning, I tried something a little bit different. Now this, I used my sewing machine on a bit. Well, it's the edging is a blanket stitch, which is a slow stitching. But um, I did, as you can see on the back, I used my sewing machine, which is, since I decided to try this as a textile art, and it's any kind of sewing will go, um, I tried, this is what I wanted to try. And I think my bumbly bee turned out just gorgeous. And I wanted to, I want to just kind of show you my blanket that I'm making. Now I can't show you the whole thing because it's a folded, but what this is, and I, and I told about it a little bit on a video, but some of you might not have seen, this is a mattress pad. I took all of the, edging or there was like a net edging that to make it fit on the mattress but this was a, a twin size so I took all that edging off and it's nice and lofty and it's already like quilted and everything and I just started adding stuff to it like this piece right here is only a piece of fabric and I put it on there because I love the image but I may go back on there at a later date and put maybe some some um some knots or something on there. Hi, Violet and Sue and Debbie Williams. So good to see you all. And so in here, like I've put on a piece of a doily. Here is some a slow stitching piece. Here is still a piece I got to cover. But on here is just a little bit. Oh, this is, let me see. This is me right here. <laughs> <laughs> This is this is me, Tracy made Not this. Screen. I can't, and can't so see she, this. Okay, just a minute. I'm trying to get just the parts. This piece is is Tracy. Okay. She made me. She made my self portrait. Not self. -portrait. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay. So I've got that that's on there. So cool. And this was a piece of a crocheted something. I put that on there, but I'm going to be adding. Like here, I put some yo-yos on here. I'm going to constantly be adding to this. And see here, I've got, well, she's upside down, but there's my little lady that Cordula sent me. And so this is what I'm doing with these pieces. And so my frog is going to go on there. My bumbly bee is going to go on there. But I want to show you how I did the bumbly bee and hope I can. Now, if you have, this is a children's coloring book that was sent to me by a subscriber. And this is a very simple children's uh, coloring book. And it's just got some, oh, look at that sloth right there. I love that sloth. Okay. But anyway, it's got beautiful, simple images <laughs> in there. Beautiful. Yeah, that's a great idea. Look at this gorilla, how cute he <laughs> is. And look at here, so their cat. We got a, it's a dot to dot for his tail, so we'd have to put it a lion. But there's so many. Well, I picked out this little bumbly bee, and I'm going to do the bumbly bee again because I love him and I know a little bit what, it, what I'm doing. But I just look at this image, I just look and I, and I think, 
okay, what would go first? Well, what would go first would be this, the body part. So. What do you mean go first? In my image. Okay, just a minute and you'll see. Um, okay. Wait a minute. You know what I forgot to do? I put my, I put my piece of fabric here. And I also want to put, just a second, now I have to reach over here and get my, um, my, my stuff, my this, my, whatchamacallit, my whoochamajiggy, my thingamajig, my stuff. Yeah. Everything is just called stuff. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, here's some right here. All right. Now, oh, oh, oh. Okay, so here we go. Um, yeah, this is it right here. Here I go. Here's the lady that thought she was all set and ready, but not. So I want a piece of um, some kind of a lofty filler. This isn't real lofty here, though. I don't even know what it is. But I'm going to... Oh, that's got some glue on it. I don't want that piece with glue on it. So I'm going to go down here and cut me another piece. So hang to your horses there. Hold on to old Nellie. And, um, yeah, I think this was given to me just to use. And this is fine. Okay, let's put that right here. It's perfectly cut square. And then, <laughs> oh, so I put my backing fabric. This is my backing fabric. And then I'm going to put my... My little filler there, my little, the other one I did, I had a much loftier piece. Okay, and then I'm going to put this piece. Okay, I can even it all out after a while. Now I look at my picture and what I see, what I, what I call, okay, I have to uncover my scraps. I just covered them up with my blanket. Okay, here. You dogs do not lay on my blanket. Thank you. <laughs> now, go into my scrap wet. Oh, I know what I was going to do. I was going to kind of use these scraps. Okay, so what I'm going to do first, because see, these are all, all of these are kind of reds and pinks and stuff. So mm -hmm. I'm going to use that. Okay, so what I mean by, first I'm going to make this part of the little body. It's kind of a round shape so i don't trace it or anything i just kind of look at it and so and this is all you have to do and it doesn't have to come out looking perfect just exactly like the image at all it can be just sort of okay so this is like sort of not very good at all wait a minute <laughs> oh lizzie what it was i think you're doing better than i do just a second we're going to get better at this i'm going to um i trace it for sure no i'm i'm not straight well look at you're that. better at it than i am okay so this is going to be his little body right here so Where'd my other one go? I don't know where my other one went. Somebody stole it <laughs> that quick. Okay, that's going to be his little body. That's this part. That's this part right here. Okay, so now he needs a band right there. So I'm going to take a different fabric. And let's see, I'm not going to be real choosy. And it's kind of, it's kind of rounded. So I'm going to cut a piece oh now i know what you mean you you when you said the for that other one down first you meant because you're putting other fabric right on top of it the stripes yes yes okay mm -hmm. okay so then hi beautiful that's my beautiful aria oh my god i love you child mm -hmm. i'll be done here hi, aria. we can play maybe we can play um Monopoly or something. I got us some new games. Okay. Yeah. Sorry about that little commercial. It's a grandchild <laughs> commercial. Okay. Now, this is going to be the band here, but I made it a little big. And so now I'll be able to cut it along the edge 
to make sure it's the same size. So now I have the body and this little band. Now I want his thorax part here. I want that to be the same. This piece, I want to be the same fabric as... Okay, so that one's kind of shaped like that one has to be kind of round at the I fold it in half so I get it more kind of symmetrical and then like this way. And so don't even be so concerned about if so now this is gonna go right here. Okay, because that's gonna be a storex, but now I'm going to or that middle part of the bug, I think it's called a thorax. I don't know. I'm trying to remember from the seventh grade, and that's a long <laughs> time. Okay, so there. Now, that's going to be there for his thorax. It's a little high up here, but his head is going to go there. So then I need a head. He needs. He's going to need to have a head. And so his head, hang my head on the shed, Fred. No, it doesn't go that way. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's Skeeter is here. <gasps> oh my gosh. That's my son. That's my oldest one. And he's so excited because he's going to be a grandpa the first part of August. So we have two babies coming in our family because my grandson, he just told me yesterday oh. or the day before that he is going to be a dad. So, and that will be about the first part of October, maybe the end of September, and it's going to be a little girl, but they do not know yet what they're going to name her. So, but I'm excited. Yeah, you're going to be a great grandma. Is this the first great grandchild? Oh, no, this will make, I have a bunch of those too. Oh, Okay. <laughs> And so there. Now, now his face, as you can see, my face up here is going to be a little bit bigger than his face here. But that's okay. See, there is where you don't have to really be so, so worried. Okay, now let's see. He needs to have this little pointy tail. So, well, here's I got a piece of fabric here like this one. It's already got a point on it. So I'm just going to tuck it up underneath there. Ooh, I need to move the whole thing down some because... I got to have room for his antennas, his antenna, his antlers, his whatever they are. Okay, we'll put that like that. So now I got his little belly, his thorax, his head, his little tail, so he can lay the honey or whatever they do with the tail. He's going to need wings. So wings, let's see, what should we do for wings? Wings now. Um... Yeah, Skeeter's excited. He's excited he's going to be a grandpa. He's going to be a grandpa. Okay, now, will these do wings? Yeah, these will do nice wings. Because usually the wings are a little bit lighter in a real, which this is a real bumbly bee, you know. Okay, so what am I going to do? I'm going to use, oh, honey. I love having just little scraps like this because they're like perfect. And if, when you have scraps, you don't mind um, cutting them up. Today, I had blood work to do. And the only way I can go um, do my blood work is if I'm promised a thrift shop run afterwards. <laughs> and so Jennifer came and she brought me to get my blood work done. And um, then our favorite... Our, you're not leaving, are you? Mm -hmm. Why are you leaving? Just streaming. Oh, but I'll be done at 8.30. Uh, we'll have to have her home by then. Okay. Her bedtime is not. Oh, I love you. Love you. Come back again. Yep. Okay, so anyway. um. Anyway, uh, what are we doing? Okay, oh, I don't know if my little wings are going to be big enough. I think I want bigger wings. So anyway... So I went to the thrift, we went to, our regular thrift shop was closed because we usually go on Thursdays, but we didn't go on Thursday. Oh, I need to make some bigger wings. Well, this is, these are going to go. So we went to a different 
thrift shop and and they had a bunch of scrap fabrics and lo and behold it was a it was they were just scrap pieces and they were fill a bag for three dollars oh wow and then, yeah and the bags were those regular you know things you get over to the walmart and so um hi papa hi baby and um now i can stuff a bag but jennifer she's even better than me at stuffing bags <laughs> and we got our three dollars worth so see now i'm putting his second wing see here it goes the first the bottom wing is below this big wing big wing and so now we'll put the big wing here and so yeah i got a sack full of scraps and boy do i love them I love them. I love them. I love them. So I call it a good day. And I come home. I got my nap. You know what I might do is make his head just a little bit narrower. So I can go in here. And So when you do something like this, you know, you can keep adjust, adjusting. <laughs> Don't laugh at my bug. Don't be laughing at my bug, Papa. It's a beautiful bug. Hi, okay. Papa. Hi. Oh, he's got like a little pointyish head. Like a little pointyish head. That was Gail that said hi. Okay, there. That's a little bit better for the little head. Okay, now we're getting good here, don't you think? He's going to need some little eyes. Because, see, we have. Now we've got his body, his thorax, his head, his wings. We've got them. Now, these are just little line drawings for his little antennas or whatever you call them. And so, um, I'm going to get a, ooh, we'll do this here piece. So, do this piece. Oh, yeah. Some Florida State Seminole fabric. <laughs> Seminoles. Mm -hmm. They were trying to, I don't know who they are, but they were trying to get the Seminoles to change their names because, but everything in Florida has got, so many things in Florida has got Indian names. Right. I don't know, some. Here too. Well, there were a lot of um, Native Americans that lived in the area I'm in, and a lot of our names, well, heck, I think the state of Indiana, that name is if I remember right, has something to do with the Native Americans. Yeah, well, India, you know, Indiana is Indiana. No, not that Indian. No. In, Indian. Yeah, but not after, I don't think it was from Indians. Well, Indian. maybe, I don't know. I don't know either. I don't, who, who Even knows? Even Chicago. Ch the word Chicago has, has a meaning in, um, I think it means onion or something. In, uh, oh, really? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, the Indians started this country, you know, Columbus. Exactly. It's their country as far as I'm concerned. Columbus thinks that he discovered it. Well, hey, it was never lost, in my <laughs> humble opinion. Hi, Eugenia. <laughs> it's good to see you here. Oh, he had to take, I had to take himself to get his COVID vax, so I didn't know if I get him. Oh, well, got his COVID vax. Well, that's good. If he wanted it, he needs to have it. Okay, now I think I'm going to use this. I think, I think, I think my little bumbly bee is going to have pink eyes. Yeah, why not? <laughs> uh, that's what I say. Why not? This is. When you start making something like this, and like, you know, I'm just kind of following along with, I'm looking at the picture. I'm just looking at the picture, not copying it, not, hi, Pat Toodle from Canada, Little Sister Crafting, Susan Ernst, so good to yep. see you all. And I think you missed it, Roy had to go, it's time for bingo. Oh, yes. He has to always watch part of our little stream here before he goes to bingo. And then that right. gives a little bit of good luck. Mm. <laughs> so we want him to have good luck. Okay. So her eyes or his. Yeah, this is her. It's a lot of pinks. 
This one's a her. The other guy was a he. Okay, now let's see what else do we need. Oh, he needs to, she needs to have legs. Okay. Well, while you're looking for legs, I want to let everybody or have everybody think good thoughts or say prayers if you do that for Lala and for Arlene. Um, they're both kind of having a bad time. Uh, they're okay, but I mean, they're not feeling so great. Arlene, I think everybody knows, had an accident and broke her foot, I think, or ankle. Yeah. And uh, Lala's just under the weather a little bit tonight. That's why she's not here. Oh, bless her heart. She's got so much lately on her mind. Yeah. And so sometimes just having things on your mind like that can just drag you, drag you down. Okay, I'm going to just cut me a little piece of this now. So these are kind of all like little in pinks here. Just cut me a piece. Just chop me a piece off there. Because she needs to have like little legs. Oh, and there's a little bit. That means her mama's probably coming out this way too. I have kids that just kind of come and go. We come and we go. Hi, sweetie. Did you need something? Okay, I'll be uh, I'll be done here in about thirty minutes. Thirty? Yes. Or maybe a little more. You remember you got started late. Or maybe a little bit more than that. I don't know. That's up to you. It's your yeah. show. My show. Yeah. You see that? When you have children. When you have children. So see, you saw <laughs> Jennifer online. You see the Skeeter. Billy come through the door. Papa come <laughs> through the door. Tommy Sue just come through the door. And so this is like all my little family. A revolving door. <laughs> yes, my beautiful family. Okay. Yeah, I call them my fam family. <laughs> okay, now let's see. We're going to need to get like a little smile. Nope, that's, that's too, too weird. Oh. Okay, we can't have anything weird. Janice Glines just did some research, I think. She uh -huh. said Indiana was named for by the French as Land of Indians. Chicago, also a French rendering of a native word, whatever that is, for some allium plant. It has something to do with an onion, Janice, I believe. Oh, well, maybe an onion is an allium plant. Chicago. Chicago. Yeah. Chicago. Yeah, something like that. Aqua, <laughs> an allium plant. I love learning stuff like that. I just right. think it's amazing. I, just I didn't realize that Indiana was a French word, though. See how much we learn from each other, even more than, than just right. how to stitch fabric together. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. But, uh, yeah, there's a lot down in Florida, too. I hope everything's okay down there with that darn uh, thing in Tampa, near Tampa, that, uh, oh, where all the chemicals are and that great big holding thing. Oh, I You're haven't not, heard nothing. Oh, my goodness. Lizzie, you don't watch TV or anything, no. do you? No. We well, don't. it's not near enough to you where we have to... Uh, uh, you have to worry. About but Thirty miles. I hope Lala's not too close. Lala's closer than I am. Um, yeah, I know. They're worried about flooding. terrible flooding if it if it breaks the dam or whatever. Um, there's this great big thing of water. It's like a lake or something, but it's bad chemicals, and it's about to overflow or or not. Or I mean, it's about to break. So they've been letting water out of it or the liquid out of it slowly, but that's going into the stream and into the bay. Well, I wonder if it's down at the power plant. That's kind of weird. No, no. It's part? some it's some plant or was from some plant that's not there anymore. Yeah, a, a reservoir. Susan Ertz called it a reservoir. Seven hundred yeah. million gallons. 
Really? I haven't even heard anything about that. South of Tampa, mm -hmm. but will leak into the bay. So Tampa Bay is down kind of tucked in between Tampa and Sarasota. And it's right. It's, Oh, God. Okay, so Lala, that's not near Lala then either, I don't think. Well, it's not. She's closer than I am. St. Pete and yeah. Tampa are like sister cities almost. And she's in St. Pete. Violet says it's wastewater. Oh, my God. Well, yeah, but it's got bad chemicals in it. Oh, wastewater of polluted water, alkaline or something. Who from a former phosphate. Yeah. Right. There That's is a lot right. of um, the phosphate digging. Sorry, I didn't mean to get you off on this topic. <laughs> oh, that's okay. That's because we teach each other here. We yeah, and I was kind of concerned about Lala because I knew she was in that area. I don't know who else of you might be down there. I hope everybody's okay and out oh, of that. Oh, there's like um, Kathy Volante. If you watch her, she's right mm. down there. And, well, uh, they're afraid of like a hundred foot wave or something if it broke. Oh, that's almost it, like a tsunami. It's sort of, yeah. Oh my but gosh. They're, they're, it, they're trying to seep, you know, leak it out a little by little so it doesn't. Oh gosh. It's been all over the national news. Well, I haven't, but like I say, we have not had yeah. the TV. We well, well we don't have, we don't get the national news. The only news I get is if I see something on the computer and I see like on the Yahoo News and it might be something mm -hmm. I'm interested in, then I'll read that. But I find that I have less stress if I don't watch the news. I was just gonna say, yeah, yeah. Contain my husband's a news at Pollock. Oh, phosphogypsum, a radioactive byproduct from manufacturing fertilizer, according to the Associated Press. That is, and see the gypsum, they do a lot of gypsum work down there, making the um, gypsum, what, you know, the, like, yeah. sheet rock, sheet rock and right, stuff. Right, right. They do a lot of yeah. that. Yes, the news okay. is scary, Susan. Yes. Thank you, Pat. Pat says, Lizzie, you are so talented and artistic with your scissors and needles. It's amazing that you have, and then, and then it went with what you have created with slow stitching. But I do, you know, I'd rather slow stitch than watch the news. And so, um, drywall, yes, that's what I was trying when I said sheetrock. I was trying to think of the word drywall, um, Renee. So, see, you're smart. Okay, so what I'm going to do with this now is I'm going to put, I found, I don't have any real wide tool, but I found this is like tool, but it's got little white specks all over it, but hmm. it's wider. So I'm, I'm going to put that over this whole thing. So I'll put that over the whole entire thing. And um, now, after I stitch this, now, this morning I put on my sewing machine, I put my um, quilting foot on there. That's the first time I've ever used my quilting foot on my sewing machine. And so, and I, and I need a lot of, it's going to take a little bit of practice to where I can use it. Right, because I, the feed dogs are dropped, so it's not pushing your sewing machine. You know, it's not pushing the stitches. And so... So um, you you only guide it then with your hands. And so since sometimes I forget, oh, I got to be guiding this. I don't have any feed dogs. And so, but I think once I get used to it, it's going to be fun. So what I'm doing now is I'm just, I've got all my layers together. My pieces are on there. My layers are together. And I'm pinning each, making sure each piece is pinned where it's supposed to live and then i will take it to my sewing machine and i will start quilting it now this is why i said i need to call this instead of just slow stitching that i need to call it um fabric i mean just textile art that means we can use anything and put it together any way we want and so oh gosh i watched a lady today Tracy sent me a link and I don't even, I didn't even write her. Um, 
I didn't even write her name down yet because I'm not done watching her. But, oh, my gosh, is she amazing with her slashing and stuff. <gasps> oh, she's beautiful. Okay, I have to. Um, I got to tell you something, Lizzie. Yeah. I think you might have mess missed her, but Katie, your granddaughter, Katie, had, said I had to pop in and say, hello, Grandma. Love you tons. Oh, my granddaughter, Katie. Now, she's up in Alabama. She lives north of kind of north east, northwest of Birmingham. And she's the one that has my first two great great grandchildren. And so so absolutely my little Katie bug. Well we've always called her Katie Bug and she's got a collection of ladybug things. There's Samantha Owens. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. And so anyhow, then this is but now I would not really have to use the sewing machine on here. In fact, I think, and see, this is another thing. You can change your mind anytime. When you're doing something like this, you can be changing your mind. And so I think what I'm going to do, I might still go inside and use the sewing machine, but I want to take, and I'm going to take a darker Let's see. I think I want to have a darker thread and probably purple. I don't know. I want to pick purple. But um, I think what I'm going to do is to Indians didn't make any of these names, but they made they made by settlers because this was our land first. Indians didn't, but it was the Indians. That's what Ta Ta um, Tanya said. Well, to me, the name Chicago is derived from an Indian word. Uh-huh. I think a lot, so many. I mean, a lot of our, um, like Cheyenne, Wyoming, Cheyenne is Indian. Mm -hmm. there, there's so many. I've been practicing my um, capitals. I'm, thinking I'm trying to think, of, what's the name of that big lake down there where hardly nobody lives south of uh, Disney World? Okeechobee? Oh, the, yeah, Okeechobee. that's probably an Indian word, isn't it? Oh, probably, Lake Okeechobee. But actually, there is quite a bit of, well, it's a lot of, it's a fishing area. A lot of fishing mm. goes on down there in the lake. Although there's mm. a dike built all the way around the lake, you can get in hmm. by the locks. And, um, oh, my goodness. Oh, because it was in my overflow? It was years and years ago that there was, and I don't remember now what the problem was. Um, yeah, Okeechobee, Seminole. Yeah, I can't remember now, but I can't remember why they built that dike. Now I have to, because it I has to, to be because it was threatening to overflow its boundary, you know, its it borders or whatever been. you call them. I, it could have been. I now see. I don't. I don't remember. And I, I did still think that. that Florida's gonna Florida's gonna sink into the ocean eventually. Yeah, probably. But you and I will be long gone, Lizzie. Yeah, we don't have to worry about it. And by then no. they'll have like everybody will just automatically wear water wings or something. <laughs> so uh, maybe the panhandle might be left, but that's about it. Yeah, there's a lot of. I hope, I hope I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of sinkholes going on in Florida. I know, and um, where just all of a sudden, a uh, you know, a hole will open up and swallow a house or swallow one room of a house or. That's so. scary. That is scary. It's just one of those things. But you know, like in your area, I, you guys are always worrying about tornadoes yeah so but I you even know. have tornadoes down there we have but they're not anything like the tornadoes i mean and our tornadoes do do damage we have the hurricanes and tornadoes yeah, hurricanes, yeah. Do damage but i think the tornadoes that go through up there in the midwest is yeah they, they're deadly horrible yeah. i was when the one time i've been to florida three times one of the, or I think it was the second time I was there. It was in April. It was during spring break. My son was, you know, a kid in school. 
Yeah. And wouldn't you know it, we're in our hotel and there's a bad storm outside and all of a sudden there's tornado warnings. And I'm seeing uh-huh. furniture fly around. We had to run down the stairs to the lobby, but stay away from the windows because there was a tornado going through. It was in Orlando. Yeah. And like Eugenia says, in her area, it's wildfires. Where does Katie live? She's northeast of Birmingham. And oh, they yeah. have spent a lot of time in their basement in the, I, last, I uh, in, the, in the last couple of weeks because they've been having tornado warnings. That's and right. So they go into their basement where they'll be safe there. Yeah. And so... There's something on most all of the country, except maybe the northeast doesn't, except for bad winters, the northeast doesn't have a whole heck of a lot yeah, that I know of. Nor, nor'easters, they call them, or something. So yeah, they, yeah. they have to deal with that cold weather. But, you know, they choose it, and everybody chooses mm-hmm. to live. Like in Katie's area, her area is beautiful where they live. That part of Alabama, you're wow. at like, the foothills of the mountains. And it's just beautiful. Just the area is beautiful. And so, you know, you, you have to take, you know, the bad with the good. You know, there's mm-hmm. no place that you're going to come be completely immune. And so there's right. going to be flooding. There's going to be tornadoes. Mother Nature, I mean, she gets a little upset sometimes, you know. <laughs> and um, it doesn't matter where. You know, California's got right. earth. Earthquakes, and you just got to kind of hope you'll be okay. And fires. Fires, earthquakes. And so I think every any place you live, there's going to be. Yeah. Problems. So, and, and that's why we do this. We do not want to worry <laughs> about weather. We, um, hi, Rebecca Clark. Do you see what Larry hi. Turner posted? Larry says, the most interesting thing here in South Korea so South Carolina is vehicle drivers, and he knows that for sure because him and Tracy were just leisurely riding around on their little motorcycle when a car decided to relocate the motorcycle. So, and that's been well, that was a while ago, wasn't that a couple of years ago or something? It has Not recently. No, it's um. Oh, it's, God, I thought they had another accident. Oh. No, I think that's why he said that. When yeah. he said that, it made me think about that. But they're healed and everything. They were both injured. but they're I healed. remember. And they have fixed the motorcycle, so it was not serious. Thank goodness. Well, but, after working in an emergency room for many years, there's no way I'd get on a motorcycle. Oh, I know. We had... We had a bad motorcycle accident at the end of our road just a couple months ago. Drunk driver ran right into the motorcycle. Yeah. Or an impaired driver of some kind. Mm-hmm. But, uh, and, and, yeah, I'm afraid of them, too. My son, one of my sons has a motorcycle, and I just, I do worry about him. He's got, he's, uh, got his Harley. And uh, I do worry about him, but. You know, it's what he he's happy on it, and so I can't make she's him. Got to drive def, uh, defensively, that's for sure. Yeah, but you know, there was we uh, a motorcycle driver was killed on our main highway through town, Highway 19. They call it here recently, about a month ago, and um, but he was driving in between in between oh, traffic. Yeah. The lanes of traffic oh. was in the middle, passing, and well, well that was stupid. That didn't prove to be too helpful, healthy for him because he's now doesn't have his motorcycle or his life anymore. And so, mm-hmm. you do have to watch out for motorcycles. You really do. Eugenia says, "I was once rear-ended by a motorcycle." Go figure. Yep. And, and Papa, Eugene, I was I, rear-ended by a bicycle. Oh my gosh! Papa and those little I, kids scared the crap out of me. Yeah. Some years ago, you were Papa going. and I were in. A, um, we were driving, and a motorcycle just lost control of his bike. It right in front of us. Mm. Thank goodness that he had his helmet off, because when his head hit 
the concrete Ooh. pavement, oh. his head bounced like a basketball. Oh, gee. And so many people don't wear helmets because they're not mandatory. Yeah, they're not I don't know mandatory. But his head bounced. Well, we stopped the car right away and put it sideways in the road and to protect so nobody would hit him because it was just a one motor, one, just the motorcycle. He lost control of it. And so, and he seemed to be fine, you know. But if he did not have that helmet on, I am sure he would probably not even be here. Right. Yeah. I fell off the back of a motorcycle when I was uh, very young. Young my and first, dumb? My first husband and I had a motorcycle, and uh, he lost control. We were going very, very slow, thankfully, because we were trying to get over a, a whole bunch of railroad tracks. And he was kind of a new motorcycle driver. And, uh, you know, even though he was going slow and that, it just didn't work. And the bike went out. He, is a, he was a big guy. He just, the bike just went out from underneath him. And he stood up and I fell off the back onto my rear end. Oh, no. Okay. Luckily, there weren't any cars right behind us. Yeah. <laughs> my son, Skeeter, the one that just poked his nose in there for a minute, he, just like a week or so ago, they were on the high road up there. He was going to the post office. And just as he pulled into the post office, slowed the truck down to get into the post office, the front axle broke on his truck. Oh, no. Just as he pulled it in. Well, he's fixed it already. He's got it fixed. But... um. Holy mackerel. If he had still been going the speed limit down the high road, that truck would have probably for sure, because he sent us pictures of what it looked like under his truck. Yeah. With one wheel was sticking out precariously out one side, and then the then the axle part that broke was on the ground. If he was, that was noisy too. Oh, he had the whole family in the truck. Oh and, my! And they were just absolutely blessed that that did not break when they were still going down the high road because going that fast and that axle to break like that, that hit he would have rolled that truck. And three yeah, children, possibly. Wife, that would have been that would have been not pretty. And as you can see now here, I'm just going all around the perimeter of my little ladybug and my, um, the tool is over the top and that is what is holding it, holding all my pieces real well to, together. What happened to my thread here? And, um, and, um, somebody sent me another link that shows somebody a, a crafter that does a lot of work using tool over her work and yeah. so i haven't seen that one yet i've got it saved to watch i'll probably watch that this evening and um because i want to see what others do too and then that way we learn more so if you um it's oh Eugenia says her daughter's best friend or boyfriend had a terrible motorcycle accident. He was forced into a guardrail rail. Awful, but he's mostly okay. Well, that is good. That's good. Yeah. Carhart says just blame me for the thread knot. Huh? Do I? Hi, Carhart, but I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Oh, what, care. Hi, sweetie. It is so good to see you. Leave it out, please. So, um, yeah, I got to catch up with Care Hart's videos because she's got some damn thing going on in her. <laughs> she's got some damn thing going on in her in that I'm completely lost over. Oh. And, and I think that's what it's called. Something. Damn, D A M or Oh something. really? Yes. So I thought I that was a little unusual for you to say. Yeah, <laughs> it is very unusual for me to say in cares laughing. So I seen something there. I seen that there was a 
Oh, it's the new dam club. Okay, I've got to check into that because I I haven't been getting into my videos as often as I want to. As you can, oh, okay, Papa. As you um, just seen in the last hour, how um, um, family is in and out. This is Grand Central mm -hmm. Station when it comes to family here. But look how quick she's put this bubble bee together, you guys. Even with ta stopping to read chat and talking to everybody. Holy mackerel. I, you know, I just love this stuff. Katie, I just love you. I keep see When I see your name, I just smile because I love my Katie. Katie, did you get your packages in the mail? I know I sent them from my house even though they were um, from Aunt Bianca. And so this is one thing we do in our family is, you know, we pass hand-me-downs. I'm telling you, we live with hand-me-downs. And so, um, so Aria, she's five and she's growing out of a lot of her clothes. But then um, Katie's daughter, Ella, my great-grandchild, she grows into them. So... We are, yes, I can see you, Grace. I can see you. And so we just sent off three big packages of clothing for Ella Grace. So it because that's what we do. That's what we do. And that's what I said to Timmy when he come to tell me. And she he said, I didn't want to tell you till she was through her um first trimester we wanted just to make sure everything was good before we told anybody so easter sunday that's when he was up here and he he handed me his keys is what he did i said why do you want to hand me your car keys and um he goes just so you can look at them i said okay um, i'll look at your car keys and i looked well he had a tag on his car keys that had a picture of a sonogram oh all i could do was just hug him <laughs> just hugging um he's he'll be 26 by the time the baby's born but he has he loves children he just and he's always wanted to be a dad Aww. all he had to do was find do was find somebody who would be the mom mm -hmm. <laughs> and he's got well, the most beautiful, i think he's at a good age to start a yeah. family mm-hmm yeah, so he'll be fine. He'll be fine. But see, then Billy's baby will be born the first part of July, and then their baby will be the first of August. So it'll be three months old. So all the newborn stuff can hand down to the to the great grandchild. Oh, mm -hmm. and they live close, so it's all good. But yeah, we do the hand me down things, especially for miniature children like that. Because um, they do not wear their clothes out before they grow out of their clothes. And so they Boys grow out do. So fast. No, I mean. Not when they're babies, but when they're toddlers yeah. and they're preschoolers, man, do they wear out their clothes. Yeah, they do then. <laughs> yeah, they do. Well, it depends on how fast they grow, too, you know. Well, that's true. So. Grace says her Eden is two already. She's, she's that's so that's so hard to even fathom. Um, that's so hard to fathom that that baby is two years old, because I remember us sitting here on chat, waiting, waiting for yeah. that baby to be born, mm -hmm. and it's it's so it's so amazing how we all oh there's Martha, Martha I call her Martha. Martha, there she is. I love that girl right there, and um, she's funny. But um, it's funny how we watch, we see these people, we see everybody in the chat, and it's like we know them. We mm -hmm. we know who they are, and um, and then when we don't hear from them in a day or two, then we think, uh oh, have they been abducted by aliens? You know, because we worry. Because they're yeah. like family to us. There's Vanessa. I didn't see you, Vanessa. It's good to see you here, too. 
Everybody that's on Facebook, did you know that you can designate uh, someone you trust to to do stuff with your Facebook page if something happens to you? Be, you know, I mean, so that they can control, like, if something's on there that shouldn't be. But, I mean, because anybody can go on and post a notice if somebody passes or something. But uh -huh. uh, I made sure I've got my son set up uh, as mine and I've told him to make sure he goes on because I've got lots of friends <laughs> in cyberspace yeah. if something happens to me. And that is so true, Gail, because we don't know. There is two ladies right now that um, have disappeared. That yeah. I don't know. One of them, maybe somebody knows, but one of them is um, Pat... Oh gosh, what was her last name? Oh, I know. I think I know. Sweeney, Pat Sweeney right. completely disappeared, and I know she was not well. She was, she was quite ill. And I was wondering so, if she went into a, you know, home. Yeah, I, I think if she would have went into a home, though, um, she would have had her phone with her. You know, I, I don't know, because she did all her videoing and yeah. stuff her phone and then another one is a lady in germany and her name was sybil gebhard and mm. i used to hear from her regularly and then all of a sudden nothing yeah and, i hate when that happens yeah and so then you don't know you just don't know oh and eugenia has her daughter set up as her designee so that is good that is really good because we need to know because now who was that that just passed away and her son let us all know yes um what was her okay. name now i can't think of it oh gosh uh, it was, oh yeah. uh i'll tell you in just a second i got yeah, it you, here you sent me a message to let me know yeah. and um and but her son let everybody know Tracy, yeah. um, shoot. But, Tracy, uh, we, I'm not sure if I'm saying her last name right, but Tracy, we rung. Oh, yes. Okay, we rung or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure I'm probably saying yeah. it wrong. Now, but she, she was on uh, Stacy. She was in the Pink Poodle group for a long time. Yeah, that's what Stacy said. That she was one of the pink po the one of the first. Yeah, I was Facebook um, friends with her. Yeah, she was one of the very first ones in in Stacy's group. Oh, I haven't okay. chatted with her in a long time. Oh, Katie said she couldn't find a chat. Chat, you got your packages. Okay, and I and Katie, I stuffed that pillowcase that went with that sheet set for um for Ella Grace I stuck that pillowcase that I didn't send the last time so it was in there with the clothes hope you found it and your favorite pillow you should have seen me and Jeff being Billy Uncle Billy stuffing that pillow into into that bag we got it in there though <laughs> you can send them poly bags cheaper then you can send um, a box. And so we use poly bags when we can. So if it's clothing or something. But we told Katie come down to visit. And she brought her favorite pillow with her. When she got ready to leave, she forgot her pillow. So we needed to oh. <laughs> send her her pillow. So we had that stuff. We had it. Um, we had it folded in half, me and Billy. And then Billy took that poly bag and fit it over like a pillowcase, but it was like a really tight fit. And um, <laughs> yeah, well, good for you. That's great. So we you're almost done with the B? Oh, yeah. Are we getting? Yeah. It is. Yeah, it's getting close. We sure are running our mouths. Oh, well. Yes, Grace. Bill yeah, so you can get started. But yes, Grace, Billy okay. is having a baby. Well, actually, oh. Billy's wife is having the baby. And so yeah. that, that baby will be born the 1st of July is its due date. And then my grandson, and you might remember me talking about my grandson, Timmy. He was the one that was incarcerated for four years because he tried to take his own life. But anyway, 
that was a, a whole nother story. But he's out now. He's been out for well long enough to get his girlfriend pregnant, I guess. Is what oh, he well, he probably got right on that. <laughs> <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> yeah, well, is it so he, he, the girl waited his girlfriend that well she had they had had a baby together and they lost her right okay, that was a whole different girlfriend that girlfriend, oh so this is yeah. a different girlfriend oh the the first one um kind of she so kind sad. of sad back to she had already had two children by two different gentlemen oh my and, um, and she went back to one of the baby's fathers after oh, okay she, well yeah, we're good. <laughs> well, so yeah. he's good. All right, all right, all right. I'm trying to keep this straight. So you've got a baby that's been on the way for a while that you've known about. Yes. Because you started a quilt for her, didn't you? Oops. Yes. Maybe I'm yeah. not supposed to say that. Yeah, we don't. Yeah, oh, yeah, they know I'm making a quilt. Oh, okay. We don't know if that one's a her or a him. They don't want to know. Okay. Now, more. that belongs, that baby belongs to who? Billy and Bianca and Aria. Okay, Billy. Uh, okay. And, and. They, those, th those three are all legally married and stuff. And Skeeter's going to be a grandfather. Now, he's not. No, the, he, he's Timmy's father. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, Skeeter okay. has five children. So that's why he's going to be a grandpa's because of Timmy's. Yes. It's yeah. little one that he looks like. Oh, okay. Tree straight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. you guys. I'm going, well, Lizzie finishes up the bumblebee. I'm going to really quick here just reiterate about the rules. Make sure you only put one number in between 1 and 120. Wait for me to post go. Oh, and Larry Turner just gave you a, a hat. Or what do you, why can't I ever remember that? Whatever it is in YouTube for uh, the money. Thrift money. I love thrift money, Larry <laughs> Turner. It was, um, now I forgot what you call them. It's the super. Yeah, I know. Silver Super chat. I can never remember that. And anyway, you are a super, super guy. Thank you so much. Thrift money. Gosh, I love thrift money. All right. So back to the rules. Make sure you don't post any numbers till I type go in the chat. And remember, there's a delay. Uh, and you'll have a little over a minute to uh, post your numbers. And the first person who posts the number closest to, but not go over the number that Lizzie will generate when we're done here, will win just a little little giveaway. So um, anyway, I'm gonna post go here very soon. So be watching for it, everybody. Okay, there you go. Wait till you see it. Okay, it's all right. It's all right, Lizzie. That's right. You said you left it in the other room. You got a minute yet, Lizzie, to have to even have it. To find my phone. Hmm. Okay. All righty then. All righty then. Okay. Yeah. They're posting numbers. That's good. We like numbers. Okay. Oh, my guys just got home. It might get noisy in here. Oh, see, we know about family. Yeah. Have, I can't find my phone, Gail. So you're going to. You have, said you left it in the other room. I did. I just went and looked in the other room. Oh, no. Well, I can generate something. Okay, you but generate don't have, something. You can, I, I'll, you can. I'll have my Alexa do it when we're ready oh, here. Yeah, you have Alexa do it, and then we will hear yeah. Alexa in her big mouth. All right, just a little more time. Does everybody have their numbers in? I lost track of what time, how long it's been. Everybody get those numbers in. I'm going to put some in. They're still going in. Hi, Joy. I didn't get to say hi to you, Joy, my friend. Okay, I'm going to put stop in here.
what I'm going to do, Lizzie, is carry my phone over to where my she who will not be named right at the moment yet. Okay, and uh, you be careful. <laughs> she heard her name on from TV the other night and started talking. Oh, you're kidding! Oh my God! Oh. And and Tom's going to come in here in a second and not know what the heck I'm doing. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Our husbands very rarely know what we're doing. So well, that's true. That's true. Well, so what's new? All right, let's see if I can get her to do this right. Hi, Johanna. That, way you, that way you can keep you can keep sewing while we do this. Yeah. All right, let's see if I can do this right. Alexa, please generate a number between one and one twenty. Here's a number between one and one hundred twenty. It's nineteen. Did you ah! hear that? Nineteen. 19. We heard it. Joy, thank you. Look at I got another super chat. Oh man, I can go thrifting really good. <laughs> oh yeah. Love you too, Care. Oh my God. Right, let's see. Thank you, you guys. Maybe you're a little late. But you're oh, not close well. anyway. Oh yeah, it's not close. No. It's too far. I had 16. Let's see here. I'm looking. Hang in there, people. All these. I think it was Violet. I think it's Violet. She had 16, and it was Ooh. 19. And I don't see anybody else that is closer. Oh, and there's Kendra Collins. <laughs> Kendra says that her Alexa picked a number two. That is so. Oh. Funny. <laughs> Did you like her number better? <laughs> okay, so do we say it's Violet? I would say Violet, yes. Okay, let me Congrats, know. Violet. Okay, so Violet, you're going to get a little happy mail. That's basically, I got to write your name because I'll forget. I always say, oh, I'll never forget that one. And then I think, who was that, that one? Okay, where's my pencil? My flower, my big flower pencil is never lost, except for right now. Well, I'm going to use this one. Okay, Violet, Happy Wheel. Okay, door prize. Violet. All ready then. Oh, in and Violet, I have, I do believe I have your address where I can find it. You know what, Violet? Go ahead anyway into my email and send me your address just to be sure because you know how I lose things. Everybody knows how I lose things. So that is great. I'm glad everybody came. Sorry about the beginning, you know. Yeah. We'll uh, have to remember that if it happens again. We'll just both refresh. Yeah. Yeah, that, uh, that was really odd, though. That's never happened before. No, it hasn't. And and like I like I always do everything the same way. I never really mm -hmm. change ways of doing things. So now on my other little my other little bumbly bee, I used my sewing machine. Where did I put that? Oh, there it is. Good grief! It was a snake. It would have bit me. But see, now this one, see how different just by changing the colors. This one here is um, all kind of little pinky, so she's a little girl. And this one here is the little boy. And this one I used a little puffier, um, the loftier, um, um, whatever you call that, batting. And mm -hmm. uh, I had a little trouble on this one because I had two strips of, of uh, the tool and my presser foot kept getting hung up under that where it full where it crossed over but i think it turned out really good i just i, I love even the backs but that's going to go on my blanket and then i just did a blanket stitch around and the next i'm going to do a blanket stitch around this one too but it's so hard for me to get them straight well the next time i do a blanket stitch i'm going to do a high and then a low, then a high, then a low. So it'll almost look like a zigzag. And oh. then, then I 
won't like this side looks pretty straight this well uh, i've seen have you seen I, I watched a couple of youtube videos and i saw somebody that actually just took a pencil or something and made you know a ruler and made a line across to try to keep it straight yeah and you can do that just make a dot every half inch or however you want mm -hmm. and you can do that that way too but, oh you mean how much room between each stitch yeah oh i have trouble with that too yeah it's kind of it's but you know when we have something and it turns out like this do you know what see i got these little spots right in the corner i got one here one here and one here i still have to put one right here but this one right here is where i poked my finger Ouch. I, I poked my finger and it bled a spot. I had a spot oh. of blood. So I had and to that's why you put the <laughs> you had to cover it up. I had to well, cover up the blood. And then I um and then I I still got one more corner to do so they'll all be all matchy and stuff like that. And so <laughs> but yeah, and so you know what I think I'm gonna do too with this one is since I'm doing this one all slow stitching, I like this, it's gonna make this one look different, but I'm going to, I left Joy a message this morning. I said, yeah, <laughs> violet quilts with DNA too. Oh, good. I'm gonna say you put all, you put blood, sweat and tears into it. That's right. At least the blood part. <laughs> yeah. And so, but this, this one here, this one here that I did this morning was the first time I used my quilting foot and dropped the feed dogs and did the quilting. Oh, cool. I did, I did all this quilting. And it's going to take a little bit of time for me to get that, like, right. And um, But I I love that. I think it's so much fun. How it does seem like it's fun. You can just take it and just swirl it around. And mm -hmm. just it just was fun. And so I'm going to do a lot more using and see how you can see on the back all the little places I went. But it's like so free. Freedom. Freedom just keep moving around and it just keeps sewing. And I just love that. And so, but now this one I did with just the, just the um, slow stitch. And I like this one too. But I think I, this one I don't have a real thick loft batting underneath it. But it's still puffy a little bit. And so it's nice. But I think I'm going to give her some eyelashes. Because she's a girl. She's going to need eyelashes. And like on this one, I, for its little pupils in his eyes it's just a french knot there and oh then my frog oh i think i, I might have already put my frog on my blanket but now see tonight i'll go sit in my chair and put my feet up in just a few minutes and um and that's when i will that's when i will um stitch to my blanket and i'll do more hand stitching on these mm -hmm. and so but I those are cute enough and put together make a bunch of bees and make a quilt yeah that would be that would be really cute too absolutely would be but i think it's just i think it's just adorable it even looks like a bee right on the back yep <laughs> And so, yeah, I'm going to get these finished up. I'm going to go for now. And, yep, I use, yeah, the freehand quilt foot. And it is amazing how that works. I love it. This is the first time since I've had this machine that I tried that. And and it is so amazing how well that works that you can do that quilting. I'm learning a lot. See, now what I'll do is I will, I can take this then and I can trim that excess off around. And then I'm going to do a blanket stitch around. I'll do that in sit, while sitting in my lazy chair. Maybe mm -hmm. put on a, maybe put on a little video and watch that. I've been so into watching a lot of documentaries lately just to learn stuff. And it's amazing the stuff that you learn watching documentaries. 
And the thing with watching documentaries, a lot of times you don't have to actually watch. You can just kind of listen. And so there. And then that keeps you. All right. So see, beautiful. I think she's just beautiful. So I'm going to, oh, you know what I want to do a little? Poems for All Seasons. This book I got from my my dear Aaron Morrison. And so, and I didn't read anything about the Easter. And yesterday was Easter. So I'm going to read this one. It says, The Miracles of Easter. The sleeping earth awakens. The robins start to sing. The flowers open wide their eyes to tell us it is spring. The bleakness of the winter is melted by the sun. The tree that looks so stark and dead becomes a living one. These miracles of Easter wrought with divine per perfection are the blessed reassert reassurance of our Savior's resurrection. And that's a little Easter thought because it's still the Easter season. Do you see my braid? I got two of them. My my phlebotomist thought that they were really awesome. And my scarf, <laughs> I wore that to the phlebotomist. I got that from little Miss Kathy. And um, I am just bold rotten, you guys. <laughs> it's fun things. That's okay. It's okay. All right. As long yeah. as you say it's okay, Gail, then it's all right. You deserve it. You deserve it. And there's Shelly's Brookview. And if I missed anybody, please, please, please take um accept my my apologies because I I'm getting better about looking up at the chat. And now I have Gail that helps me to if there's something I, I need. Try. <laughs> and well, you're doing very good, Gail. I very oh, much you. appreciate. And I've seen where other YouTubers do have somebody in the background that just kind of helps them along. And mm -hmm. and I, for a long time, I thought, well, I can just do this by myself. But it was hard. It's hard. Mm -hmm. So having somebody to help is just like a godsend. And My so pleasure. I appreciate it. My yeah. pleasure. Yes, thank you so much. Kara says she has a horrible time with the chat too. Some are, but some people are really, really amazing. Really amazing. I love watching Stacy and um, and um, Jane, Jamie. Yeah, uh, they do so well together with their chats. Mm -hmm. So, oh, she's having her. It, when we're done, yeah, she's here, auctioning okay. right now. Okay, she's auctioning. Yes, and she's, looking, looking think it's still yes. on. Yeah, she will go on late. Um, she, she usually goes on late. And so, yeah. So if you don't have any place to go. i cover up my nose spot again. If you don't have any place to go after you leave here, go on over to Stacy's auction. See if she's got any good stuff. She usually does. I always look for fabrics and um, trims. That's what I look for in her. and Because and, a lot of times she has some really good stuff. But sometimes I get outbid because, you know. Somebody chopped down my money tree. <laughs> but yes. So thank you all for coming. And I ask God to watch over each and every one of you. Every step you take. Every move you make. Bring you back here safely and happy and smiling and healthy to the next video. And God bless. And thank you for hanging out. God bless Good everybody. night. Good night all. Good night all. Candy. I didn't say hi to Candy. Looky, looky, loo. It's just, oh, goodness. Debbie Nowaki. Okay. Hopefully I caught everybody. Okay. God bless.